Good day everyone, today we are going to tackle about the introduction to the digital age, the ICT and ITs. Information and Communication Technology or ICT is a general term for the manufacturing and service sectors that electronically gather, transfer, and display data and information. The use of any computers, storage, networking, and other physical devices, infrastructures, and procedures to create, process, store, secure, and exchange all types of electronic data is known as Information Technology or IT. In fact, ICT is a considerably larger industry that includes all facets of IT as well as separate emphasis on the communications industry. IT professionals concentrate on creating apps and softwares as well as managing and maintaining database infrastructures and all internal information infrastructures of a business. Entertainment is a form of activity that holds the attention and interest of an audience or give pleasure and delight. It can be an idea or a task, but is more likely to be one of the activities or events that have developed over thousands of years, specifically for the purpose of keeping an audience attention. Four, compared to 20 or 30 years ago, the labor market is far more competitive now. For starters, there are significantly more candidates for each opening, many of whom have advanced degrees. Additionally, you must compete with applications from around the globe, many of whom will have completed the employability course to increase their prospects. Compared to the 1970s and 1980s employers, can afford to be considerably picker when choosing job prospects today. And this is very dissimilar from your parents, who may have had an easy time finding employment as long as they had a degree. But that doesn't mean you lack the capacity to create a fantastic career strategy. Understanding the difficulties in the job market today and how to deal with them is all that is necessary. The back to basics traditional education method, also known as conventional education, is still widely used in schools. The old-fashioned way of teaching was all about recitation. For example, students would sit in silence while one student after another would take it in turns to recite the lesson until each one had been called upon. The teacher would listen to each student's recitation and they were expected to study and memorize the assignment. No matter if they were interviewing for a job at a bank or a mechanic shop, it would have typically arrived for an interview with a briefcase and freshly pressed suit. Additionally, both in verbal and written letters, the words of address would have been more official. However, that doesn't mean you can or you should be overly familiar or not put an effort into your appearance. Today, you probably wouldn't start an email with, Dear Sir, or wear a three-piece suit for an interview at a design agency. When dressing for an interview, it is preferable to be on the side of formality rather than showing up in too casual of attire. If you're unsure, inquire with your interviewer about the dress requirements they may have. Technology has enabled a new way of life. However, we are only beginning to see how it can help in the realm of healthcare. Not only can technology improve our current practices, it has the potential to completely transform them. Innovations are arising that can help to cut costs and improve efficiency while improving the quality and transparency of care available. Let's take a look at what changes we've seen so far, what is being worked on now, and what experts predict in our future. And now, they are going to show the evolution and what way they are going to cure about past and present. Critical explanation of technological innovation and change aim to explain both the forces that shape a technical advancement and its effect on society and culture. The development of new scientific disciplines is frequently a result of a technological innovation. As shown by the history of technology, some of the contemporary theories of technological change and innovation could also distress the crucial role of social networks and culture. Technological determinism seeks to show technical developments, media, or technology as a whole as the key mover in history and social change. It is a theory subscribed to by hyperglobalists who claim that as consequence of the wide availability of technology, accelerated globalization is inevitable. Therefore, technological developments and innovation became the principal motor of social, economic, or political change. 
As a technology is stabilized, its design tends to dictate users' behaviors, consequently diminishing human agency. Social construction of technology is a theory within the field of science and technology studies. Advocates of SCOT or SCAT, that is social constructivist, argue that technology does not determine human action, but that rather human action shapes technology. Some examples of collaborative learning activities are group of problem solving, group inquiry, simulation, and debates. Technological change. A technological change can be defined as an increase in the outputs possible with a given level of inputs through the processes of invention, innovation, and diffusion. Technological change plays an important role in the environmental policy. While new technologies can make cleaner production and more efficient resource use possible markets are unlikely to provide proper incentives for the development of clean technologies and absent public policy. A technological change is an increase in the efficiency of a product or process that results in an increase in output without an increase in input. In other words, someone invents or improves a product or process which is then used to get a bigger reward for the same amount of work. Technological change means the technical knowledge used in the production of capital and machinery. The various changes in technology leads to an increase in the productivity of labor, capital, and other production factors. Technological progress comprises of creation of skill, new means of production, new uses of raw materials, and the widespread use of machines.